for fun tips and cool information, tune in to HealingTalks.com. How did you come to develop this interest in, in human brain development, human consciousness, its evolution? find a little of your own evolution to come Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a story of accidents, if such things exist. Um, I, I, I guess I always had a, a little bit of an interest in humanity. I, you know, I watched the kind of natural history programs and right. I have some interest in biology and the natural world and so on. Um, but to cut to the chase, I, I was I was doing a bit of studying at Edinburgh Botanic Gardens, and that brought me into contact with basic scientific ideas, sort of Darwinian evolution, genetic engineering. Not in not in great depth, but in kind of basic mechanisms, how these things work, photosynthesis, all this kind of stuff. Um, and then I came into contact with some ideas that I hadn't grown up with, and that I was perhaps somewhat skeptical about, um, sort of, that would be generally considered spiritual traditions, spiritual ideas. Uh-huh. And it, as part of that, um, um, some information to do with what we call diet. And, and it struck me very early on that I never, for one second, considered what I ate. Uh-huh. You know, it was part of my culture, and this is food, this right. is what you eat. But when I, when I stood back and thought, well, what do we do to the food we eat? Well, how, how relevant is it to our physiology? Mm-hmm. So, a load of questions, particularly why we heat it. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, why are we the only species that uses heat to change the molecular structure of the materials we build ourselves from, including our brain? Mm-hmm. So these were early questions. And out of that, I decided to experiment. I thought I'd change my diet for a month. Mm-hmm. I ate what I thought was an approximation of a natural diet for a primate, okay. and that was the beginning of the experimentation. I think mm-hmm. I stayed with that. It evolved. It changed, mm-hmm. um, and I noticed within about two or three years some perceptual effects, not particularly powerful, but interesting. Uh-huh. Kind of more visual way of thinking, and mm-hmm. kind of it seemed to be an ease of looking at problems that perhaps I wouldn't have known how to address. It's kind of just mild things. Mm-hmm. So it really enhanced my interest and I, I, I think that tipped me into, okay, what's this all about? And I was trying to find an umbrella to to explain to my own rational mind what I was doing and I guess it was about consciousness and evolution. So I just began to look into what you know what the current thinking was, the traditional view, the Western scientific view, uh-huh. and some of these traditions that I begun hearing more about and it struck me early on that maybe they were telling the same story and that got me interested in self-experimentation sort of including more shamanistic approaches techniques that that were claimed to shift your state of mind Mm -hmm. and the more of those kind of things I did the more it changed the way I viewed the enigmas and the problems it was kind of a a feedback loop you know the more I dug in the more it gave me more insight so so it was part, part looking at the data Part doing experiments and it, it turned from a bit of a curiosity into a bit of an obsession, I guess. Uh-huh.